non-communicable diseases can also be caused because of bad habits such as smoking and drinking. Environmental pollution may also lead to certain diseases like bronchitis, asthma and even cancer. Communicable diseases Diseases that can spread from one person to another are called communicable diseases. Such diseases are caused by germs. The germs can be bacteria, virus or protozoa, which are so small that they can only be seen under a microscope. Germs can enter the body of a person through the nose, the mouth or with food and water. They can also enter the body through the skin. Some of the diseases along with the ways of their transmission are discussed further. Mode of transmission, process, examples of communicable diseases. Contact transmission Direct body contact with the infected person Contact with objects contaminated by infected agents, for example, sharing a towel, a comb or clothes Measles, chickenpox, ringworm Droplet transmission Inhale or contact with droplets expelled from the sick person during sneezing, coughing, spitting or speaking. Influenza, common cold. Airborne transmission. Infective agents float in the air for some time and enter the body through the respiratory tract. Chickenpox, measles. Foodborne and waterborne transmission. Germs breed in the body of the insects that are spread when they bite. Dengue fever, malaria, carriers. A healthy person sometimes may carry germs which are spread to other persons. Such healthy persons are called carriers. Typhoid, cholera, dysentery, AIDS. Prevention of diseases. Prevention of non-communicable diseases A proper and healthy diet can prevent the occurrence of non-communicable diseases. They can be prevented by taking proper diet, regular exercise and by keeping ourselves fit and healthy. Prevention of communicable diseases Some of the measures that can be taken to prevent communicable diseases are Keep yourself and your surroundings clean. Do not let the mosquitoes breed in your surroundings. Keep the infected person and their belongings separately so that the germs do not spread to others. Always consume water after filtering and boiling. Sweep the floor every day to kill the germs. Put wire mesh on windows to prevent flies and insects from entering the house. Vaccination for immunity Another way of protecting ourselves from certain diseases is to acquire immunity against them. Immunity can be defined as the ability of the body to resist and fight diseases or germs. This can be done through the process of vaccination. Vaccination is a method of developing immunity in the body against a disease. It involves injecting a small dose of germs of a disease into a healthy body. This results in the production of antibodies. Antibodies are the substances produced by the body to fight diseases. Vaccines are available for various types of diseases such as typhoid, tetanus, polio, measles, cholera, etc. We must get ourselves vaccinated as a protection against diseases.